Hello everyone, my name is Kate. Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about new products from Natasha Denona. This is her new blushes. So this is the Natasha Denona Puff Paint Puff Paint Liquid Blush Serum. And this is in the shade Daria. I also have the shade Bloom and the shade Tan. So this blush comes with three shades. So I'm going to try these three brush blushes for you guys today. By the way, you guys, I just finished filming a video about the Natasha Denona Zendo palette. That's why my eyeshadow is a little bit different because I created different looks and I did some swatches, some eye swatches. If you want to check that video out, I'll have the link down in the description. But yeah, let's let's jump right into these blushes. So let's start with the shade Tan. So this is what the box looks like and this is made in Italy and it has the suggested shelf life of 12 months. And this is the product. So you have written on here, Natasha Denona. It says, Puff Paint Liquid Blush Serum. And when you open it, it has this type of applicator. And this is what it looks like swatched at the back of my hand. Let's go ahead and try and blend this. It's very easy to blend. Very pretty color. And I love that it's not sticky too. So now let's move on and swatch the other shades. So this is the shade Bloom. This is what it looks like. So for this blush, a little goes a long way. That's so pigmented. It's so pretty. And then this is Daria. Let's go ahead and blend it. So this is what it looks like. So I actually don't have anything on my face. So I'm going to try and use these three on my face right now. So I'm going to start with the shade tan. I'm going to apply it on the on this part of my cheeks. Like on the outer part. If that makes sense. So I'm going to apply it like so. And then blend. That is so pretty. I'm going to do the same thing on my other cheek. So this is what it looks like. I hope you can see how pretty that color is. Now let's move on to the shade Daria. And I'm going to apply this on the center of my cheeks like so. My cheeks, my skin is very textured. So let's see how this blush works on textured skin. And I love that when it dries, it just stays on there and it's not sticky. So this is Daria. And then I'm going to take this shade, this is the shade Bloom. And I'm going to apply a little bit on my nose and on my chin. Oh yeah, that is so much. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, this is what it looks like on my face. Again, these are the swatches at the back of my hand. This is Tan, Bloom, and Daria. Now that you've seen the swatches and how it looks like on my face, let's move on to my final thoughts. So for my final thoughts, I think this blush is super worth it. I think it's it's amazing. I I just I I love blushes and these are super nice. I love that it's all very pigmented. I love each of the shades. All the shades are so pretty. My favorite one is Daria. Daria is I don't know, it feels fresh and young. And that's what that's my vibes right now. I want everything fresh and young looking. And Daria is exactly that. I love that. And again, once it dries, it's on there. It's not sticky. You don't have to like set it or anything. It's just it's beautiful. And I love the finish. Also, I love that it didn't like make my face look more textured because I have I kind of have that problem when it comes to cream or liquid blushes. 
sometimes cream or liquid blushes tends to like sit onto the textures of my skin onto my pores i don't know if i'm making any sense but sometimes cream or liquid blushes does not look good at all on my skin my skin is very textured and not flawless at all so yeah i kind of have that problem but i don't see any problem with this cream blush or liquid blush i think it looks really pretty and I think the color, the shades, complements my skin a lot. I don't know. I really like it. So yeah, guys. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So don't miss any of my videos. See you on my next. And if you want to see how I got this look, if you want to see everything about the Natasha Denona Zendo palette, then I'll have the link down in the description so you can check that out. So yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Bye!